We are in the State House talking to our legislature, dropping off a copy of the letter that we're sending to Governor Strickland, and we're trying to solicit support or at least provide information to the senators so they know what this cause is all about. We're introducing them to the one and only Superman, the man on the crane, Paul Fisher. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm with Fathers for Justice, and today we're dropping off a letter to Governor Strickland. Uh, as you know, uh, Mr. Paul Fisher, Superman, was on a crane last weekend at Ohio State, and his message was stop the war on fatherhood. Um, this is the letter that we've composed for uh, Governor Strickland, and it basically highlights the inequality and the injustice in the court system. And we would like uh, for Senator Stivers to be aware of the issue and to hopefully get involved in, in, with the process. And if he can come up with any additional solutions to help us fight the, uh, fight the system, we would greatly appreciate it. Sure. One of the things, um, Stivers is not in the office today, but one of the parts about getting any kind of legislation is really to establish a brainstorming relationship. Okay. So um, I'd be happy to have a meeting set up between you and Stivers where he could really hear out um, your thought process and hear out what it is that you're really advocating for and that also be a good chance for you um, to hear what his concerns might be or to hear what his um, support might be and also to really uh, help um, strategize about the people who you think um, might be best to be on the bipartisan panel also Senator Kearney on the Democratic side of the aisle would be a really good person to try and get his office is downstairs and most people are going to be a little busy till November but um, November and December would be a really good chance to strategize about how you could really establish this um, bipartisan review committee okay. to look at the quality issues. I think that um, you don't, you, I mean, not, I'm really at a place where you're looking for support, you're looking for understanding of people that are willing to listen. So we're definitely willing to sit down and listen and help brainstorm. And Thank you. Our issue truly is parental equality. And uh, so, really, we have some specific recommendations with respect to the Ohio Revised Code. It may be a little bit premature now, but once we get into discussions with whomever may be hitting, heading up a committee, we can certainly bring those to the forefront and have some points of discussion. Sure, and also, um, I mean, I think every office gets a lot of custody calls, and usually our hands are pretty tied about what we can and can't do. Um, so I think that every office that you're going to be going in touch with has at least been able to say, I hear what you're saying, but I can't help you. So it's not like this is a, a new issue. It's just the first time that we've really had any advocates coming on behalf of it. So thanks for your time. Okay, well, great. Thank you very much. Pleasure meeting you. Governor Strickland's office, and uh, I was able to go into the office, there were only one of us allowed, and uh, spoke with a Mr. Uh, Charles Preston, one of the governor's assistants. Uh, I handed him the letter requesting a uh, bipartisan committee be formed to uh, look into the family court issues and the issues of inequality in family court. Uh, he said the governor was very concerned about children. We're not sure what that meant, but uh, I guess we'll see. They will, be, they will be reviewing the letter, and uh, I was told we would have some sort of response. So we will uh, we'll see what happens. But the letter was delivered today on, uh, on Tuesday, the uh, 7th of uh, October. And uh, thanks to the, uh, the support and assistance from Terry Key and, uh, and Paul Fisher, and uh, we've, we've made our, uh, our statement known. Uh, and we got some very favorable comments. So. We'll see what happens with that as well. But the bottom line is, is we're following up on, on uh, the crane protest and, uh, and making sure everybody is aware of the issues down here in Columbus. We're fighting for truth, justice, and father's rights. 